our little Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today we are doing an unboxing try on, except I've already cheated, of the January subscription of BoxyCharm. And just wanted to give you guys some of my thoughts and feedback about all of the items. And then I will put a little bit of a tutorial on what I've used today from the box. So you can kind of see that in action and understand my thoughts on that. So January is boxy and chill. Gotta love boxy and chill. All right, we are. We have quite a. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We have five items. Mm-hmm. Count them. Five. We're gonna start out with the Briogeo Ros Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This has no sulfates or silicone. It effectively restores your hair's softness and manageability. It's moisture and shine. And it has a signature blend of ultra nourishing rosehip, argon, and coconut oils. This spray works to detangle your wet hair and protects against heat while locking in moisture and restoring luster and diminishing frizz. And I will say, I do like these products. I've gotten some of these products in some other beauty boxes. I, I believe I also got one in BoxyCharm maybe a couple months ago. I do love these products, so I used this last night. Don't you like my pretty bun? But I, in all seriousness, I did use this last night. Really like it. My hair is dry from coloring. You know, I tested it just after I got out of the shower, brushing through it and without it. And it, you know, kind of is a little bit tougher to, to go through. So then I sprayed this on top and it really made brushing through my wet hair a lot easier. I do do love these and this size is perfect for traveling since it's two fluid ounces. The two fluid ounces retails for $12. Next, we're going to look at the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This thing smells like coconut oil, coconut heaven. I felt like when I was putting this on, I needed to be at the beach. Mm-hmm. Smells that good. So let's talk about this Ofra Long Lasting Lipstick Havana Nights. It is a matte liquid lipstick. It delivers long lasting color that perfectly outlines and fills in lips. I did go ahead and use a lip liner, so I did cheat. The st stunning pigment stays on all day with minimum transfer. It's supposed to have a comfortable wear and it's infused with vitamin A and antioxidants and your lips will look healthy all day. Do my lips look healthy? Mm. So one of the girls I work with had this on yesterday. She's a BoxyCharm subscriber also and she was worried the color was too dark. I do know for us fair skinned ladies that using a color like this really stands out. So a couple things that you can do is if this color is too deep for you, you can always pick a lighter color and kind of just do a little bit of a ombre to lighten that up. So just that little bit lightened up that bottom lip quite a bit. Um, so never forget if something is a little too dark for you, always feel like you can put a much lighter liquid lip over the top to kind of bring that color down a bit. And then that'll help. Now this is still dark. I didn't put on a lot, which I could have um, done that also. So you can kind of just put it, dab on a few dots, lighten it up, dab on a few more dots to get it to the color you want. Or another option that you can do is to take a, let's say one that has a bit of shimmer or glitter in it. This one is a Kylie Cosmetics. This color is in glitz. So you also have that opportunity to take maybe something with a bit of shine or glitter. And then as you can see, that really lightened it up and gave it some iridescent. So if this color 
is intimidating to you, there's a couple different ideas on how to lighten it or add shimmer and get it to kind of, uh, you know, bring down that color if it's just a little too deep. That retails for $20. Ofra's lipsticks, I have um, several of them and I really like them. I do love the scent of this one. Mm. Mm. Now let's talk about the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. This is a really pretty palette. It's what I have on today that gives a nice shimmery light eye, which that is hard for me. Mm -hmm. It is hard for me. So this is volume three. I love, love, love the packaging. The round packaging is so cute. I absolutely adore the size of the mirror on the inside and the colors are absolutely beautiful, especially if you like doing a light eye. So today I went ahead and did a light eye and tried to make my eyeliner a little bit darker and stand out. So I did use a black eyeliner. This is a limited edition Rainforest of the Sea highlighting eyeshadow palette. Again, volume three. Dive into this vegan crease-free eyeshadow palette that features seven highly reflective plush micro shimmers and one matte nude. Now that was a downside for me that it only had one matte nude. I, I like to see 50-50. It serves as a, the, the matte color serves as a perfect transition shade. These are blendable, long wearing, and is enriched with vitamin E antioxidants, and it helps hydrate and protect the lips. So I did use the one matte. Again, I would have liked to have seen a few more. But as far as this palette goes, it does have a lot of shimmers. Whoops. How about we get that in the camera? This one does have a lot of shimmers. Now I did not put a highlighter on today, so I could pick up one of these with my highlighter brush and basically add the eyeshadow at dual purpose as the highlighter. So that does give you some options, not just with using it as an eyeshadow, but you can use it as a pretty highlighter. So you got kind of two in one there. Again, I just wish that it would have had one more matte. Then we have the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. Okay, so I have a skin mask I get from Ulta and I forget what the name of it is. It has been a great skin mask to hydrate, especially if you've had a night of adult beverages. Your skin typically the next day is not is looking a little dehydrated and dull. So I wanted to try this and I, I was kind of curious to see how the Tatcha would do against the one that I buy from Ulta. And oh my goodness, I was really, really shocked on a couple levels. So A, I use the one that I prefer or up to now the one night and then I used Tatcha last night because I, again, I wanted to see how did my skin feel the next day after each? Well, my favorite at Ulta is no longer my favorite. So my new favorite is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. Absolutely love this. They also have a ton of product at the bottom. So I actually kept this piece so that I could pour some of the product in my hand and then rub that on my face at a later time. Totally, totally excited about how much is still left in here, even when your mask is finished. Absolutely, totally loved how wonderful my skin felt that next day. So, I think I'm in a Tatcha. Now, it, what's kind of interesting is I've gotten the Tatcha water, the Hydro, Hydra lotion, I, for lack of a better word. I wasn't really excited about that. This... I'm excited about. And then our last bit was an eyeliner that I never heard of this company and it's BDB. It's a billion dollar brows. It's a universal brow pencil. Now we did get a brow pencil from BoxyCharm, you know, a couple sometime last year. Was not excited about that eyeliner or eyebrow pencil. So I was kind of curious about this one. Oh my God, I love this one. So the spoolie, of course, is great to have in any uh, with any eye pencil because that kind of helps you get a shape. As far as the color goes, absolutely love the color. So it rolls up. 
I did kind of fine strokes or hair-like strokes so that I get a little bit more of a natural look and then kind of swept down. So you'll see that in the video. Really liked how creamy it was. It went on so easy, so amazing, and the color was just absolutely perfect. So as far as the Billion Dollar Brows, this is a universal brow pencil, specially made and carefully formulated to work perfectly with most skin tones and brow colors. This self-sharpening pencil glides on your brows without tugging or pulling your skin. 120% believe that is accurate. The spoolie at the end makes it easy for blending and the smooth and creamy formula makes it easy for application. Easy application is beyond, the, I mean, this is now like my favorite. So I haven't wore it all day. We're going to see how it does in an all day wear test. But as of right now, my first impression is I love, love, love how easy this went on. So this is now kind of kicking out some of my other eyebrow products and this is going to be my go-to again i'm kind of curious how it's going to be a, as far as an all-day wear test but if this buddy baby wears all day amazing i found and have replaced all my other eyebrow products mm -hmm, it's that good so if you want to see how i've played with these products in a quick tutorial you're in the right spot stay tuned okay so we are going to use the items in this month's boxy charm which is january 2019. last night i went ahead and washed my hair and put in the briogeo rosarco milk reparative leave-in conditioning spray i thought that went really nice i i have these products from other beauty boxes and i believe boxy charm has put in some of uh, briogeo's items and some other boxes and i do like them so i was super pumped about using the milk reparative leave-in conditioning spray I'm going to try the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. This retails for $18, and even though it is a billion dollar brow pencil, again, only $18. Man, you talk about a price cut. All right, so we look like we've got a twisty, twist up. We have our spoolie to get our wee hairs in place so let's see if this is the billion dollar payoff all right that went on super easy and super nice i like it i like it a lot wow that was a pleasant surprise that went on so easy and it is a beautiful color hmm i've never heard of this before so again i'm i'm kind of excited Okay, next we are going to use the Ofra Li Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Havana Nights. One of the girls that I work with at, at work has used it, and I really liked how pretty it looked on her. My friend Megan, it, she's got fair skin like I do, and I liked how it came out on her skin. She said it was a little, she felt like it was still a little too dark. So if this create is a little too dark, I'm going to show you how to lighten it up. I do like Ofra. Oh, man, the smell of this. Oh my gosh, it's like coconut. Okay, that went on really, really smooth. Next, we're gonna dive into the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, Volume 3. I believe I have Volume 1 and 2. This looks like an array of a lot of shimmers. Not much as far as matte goes, with the exception of maybe that one. So we may need to add some other colors, because I don't... We might do a light eye. Well, it looks like we are gonna do a light eye if I only use this palette which would be the downside. I like palettes that I can have a little bit of everything where I can travel with it. If you don't mind using multiple palettes, then this isn't going to be as big of a deal for you. This color that I'm using right now is called Tiki, which seems to blend right well, almost doesn't even look like I have any eyeshadow on. 
because it blends so well with my nice pasty skin. I've added it all over the lid just to give a base on top of the foundation and powder I already have on. I think I want to try this color here called Jewel. Which is kind of a pretty peachy color. It's got a light shimmer so it's not kind of in your face. I'm sure if you darkened it up or added some setting spray it would make it a little more off the hook. I'm going to pick up this color Malibu. Malibu! What was that movie where that kid said, I'm from the boo. He almost looked like a knockoff of, not Vanilla Ice, M&M. &M. Okay, this has a little bit of fallout, so you just need to be prepared for that. And the colors, like I said, are really light, so that just added a little bit of color to the outer C and then into the crease. I'm going to pick up this color Treasure. Alright, so the eye is very, very light and the lip is very, very dark. 